Good morning YouTube. Um, I just wanted to do a really quick video. Um, I'm going to be putting these fabric packs on uh, Etsy soon and I just I was thought about it last night and I thought you know maybe you kind of don't get what I'm on about with these but um, so what I've done is I've emptied out one of the smaller packs um, which is that one um, these are the smallest size. I'll, I'll show you. I've, I've laid out another one, but um, I just wanted to show you. So um, what I've done is I've got a piece of old pillowcase. Now you could stitch this onto card, paper, um, any fabric. Yeah, anything really. Um, so uh, what I've done is I've marked out. I kind of don't want to destroy this. I've marked out on my. I've destroyed it, never mind. On my piece of fabric, I'm hoping you can see um, the size of a TN, a traveller's notebook style size um, journal cover. So I've done my two corners and I've done a dotted line down the middle here um, to so that I know where the middle is basically. So, And then I've just laid, played around with some placements. So this is where I completely get this all wrong again so yeah I was just messing around with it and I thought you know I, I thought I'd better show what I mean by using these packs because you might need a bit of inspiration so I've sacrificed this pack and where did I have the rest of it <laughs> let's put that one there I think I think that's completely different to how I just had it, but never mind. It's pleasing to the eye. That's fine. All right, let's just tuck that under there. So basically, cut them up, play around with them. I have chopped this one um, because I did have a hole. What have I done differently? I can't work it out. Oh, I'd have to stop the thing and have a look at the screen again. But anyway, as you can see, you can mess around with it as, as much as you want. Um... And this particular one's got this bit in. I've I've looked at the others. They've um, uh, this one has like the the printed version of this, and um, it does still have the beautiful um, embroidered flower bit on there. So that's the, that's another one. Um, yeah, and I've I've actually got a bit left over. So you know that could become a pocket inside the TN. It's got a little bird on this one. As I say, don't get hung up on the patterns because when I chop the fabrics, you get yeah, you might have more floral and a bird tail or similar. Um, so what I would do with this now is uh, pin it all down and take it to the sewing machine and just uh, zigzag all these edges together. If you wanted, well, yeah, you could. You could patchwork it, but your seams, you might not have enough fabric. I quite like the raw edge applique um, and, and literally just a nice zigzag stitch all around these will hold it in place fine. Um, so, yeah, I just I said, just want to sort of give you a rough idea of uh, my ideas behind making these packs because, um, you know, I mean, you could slow, you know, you could do this stitching by hand. A nice blanket stitch all around the edges yeah completely up to you really so that this is the smallest size and that make that would make a tn a traveler's notebook size cover and i think that would be really pretty when that's all stitched up i might do that actually and um show it on my next long video so i'll just pop that one there um i've opened up one of the other bigger packs um i've got a sheet of a4 paper under here so that would make an a5 journal cover and as you can probably tell there is loads there's plenty uh, again it's got that really nice this particular one this is the sea foam pack but again don't get hung up on that i've um i've tried to include as many of the decorative bits in each one as possible but um um so that would be the spine let's put that uh let's do that as the spine i mean i would chop this down i would chop this into smaller pieces and uh same with this actually i'd probably cut this in half down here and would i see that to me is too much so i would chop that in half now half on the back half on the front or you know chop that in half or into thirds even they're quite long pieces but as you can see you have got more i'm just going to lay it like that because then you can see 
in each pack you've got more than enough to do a either an A5 size journal cover or um, a traveller's notebook. Well, the smaller pack is a traveller's notebook. I mean, out of one of these, you might get two traveller's notebooks, actually. I wonder if you would. But I'm sure you could play around with it. Just add some of your own fabrics. Um, and then, um, yeah, that would make it stretch quite a long way so uh, yeah so I thought I'd just quickly show you those I say I'll um I'll stitch that traveler's notebook one up um in I'll stitch it let me just grab it back I'll stitch that one up and uh, I'll show you in the next long video uh, what it will look like because you know you embellish it put buttons you know other fabrics whatever you've got on stash really um I'd probably actually do a bit of a patchworky thing there with that that's lovely and soft that fabric um yeah so i'm just going to play I'll probably leave it like that might fussy cut out that but i might not actually i might not use that bird is that the other half oh there's the other half of his body there Ooh, right okay um yeah that's it really so just a quickie and um these packs will be on later hopefully all right thanks very much bye